potential Easter Conference Finals matchup on Tuesday night. We have the Raptors. They play at the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh. Kawhi, to me, is not much. Let's hope PTO he, Kawhi plays. Yeah, he calls him PTO Kawhi because he's always PTO out. Leonard. Um, okay. I, I, Kawhi, to me, just hasn't been money um, this season. I think that uh, – is Valanciunas still out with the yeah. – yeah. Valanciunas is out. Joel Embiid is going to put up, I think, 40 and 15 in this game. And I, and I think that the 76ers are actually going to easily win this game. I'm taking them to win 121 to 108. Okay. Let's see. I will say, where is it again? Is it uh, it's, in, it's in Philly. I'm sorry. It's in Philly. Okay. So I'll, ta- I'll pick them as well. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that high scoring. I'll say it's going to be like 111. To the, uh, the, um, the fact Philly's that's not how scoring now is crazy. One, yeah, right. 111 to <laughs> 105. Okay. Where were they ever? Well, 111 points is yeah. not a high score. I mean, score you were whining about players. people scoring 140 points earlier. Actually, he was one of those guys. I think you were actually on the on the show earlier this season. We were talking about the new defensive rules. Yeah. And I was telling him, just give it some time, and then you'll like it. And now, guess what? Guess what? Somebody said to me this week. You know what? I actually like the new defensive rules. Guys can actually move around, and they're not getting yeah. pulled and grabbed every time. I'm like, oh, I really? I wonder who thought that you would feel that way. <laughs> if you're a great defender, you don't really need to use. I mean, like the way you teach defense, it slides your feet in you. Like when you're right. doing defensive drills, you're well, not teaching somebody to like right. grab. I mean, obviously, when Pagata so fast, you may have to, and they'll let you get away with it a little bit. But it's like the overly grabbing somebody's jersey you can't do, which you know what, yeah. it's fine. Um, but in this game, yeah, I'm gonna take the Sixers to win. I, I, I don't believe in the Raptors. I think the Raptors are a Ooh. team that, depending on matchup, could possibly lose in the first round. Ooh, depending I, I on I'm matchup. really not upset. I'm really not upset. At depending, that take. depending on the matchup. I do, I do not like what I'm seeing from the Raptors this year. And too many times in crunch time, Kawhi's having the issue. Remember when LeBron first came to Miami? Yeah. And he would always make the right basketball play? Kawhi didn't have a lot of times this year in the clutch in which I feel like he could have really had MVP moments and he chose the right basketball play. It's that pop system, though. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe I can kind of see what you're talking about, but, uh, I mean, they're not going to lose in the first round. I think depending on matchup. Not granted, it was like I was at the bottom of the East. There's like the Nets, there's the Hornets, yeah, but even a team like the Pistons. That I didn't play I the Pistons. Like, I, I, don't like, like, I don't think the Pistons are a team the Raptors really want to play. I really don't think they are. All right, because Blake and Drummond could low key be the best two players on the court for seven games in that series on the lowest of keys. All right, I'm not upset at that. But regardless, I think the 76ers win this matchup. Um, again, I think Embiid is too much to handle. Simmons is playing on a um, different level right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take the Sixers to win. I think the Sixers win this game like uh, 114 to 103. Quick and aside. I think the Sixers, real quick, think they can win, win the East. It's very possible. I think they will win the East. Quick aside. I told, but I also told, I also told him, told you last year that I think the Sixers will win a championship before 2020. I think they will be the the, the team. I said this last year at the beginning of the season. Embiid and Ben Simmons will be the team to dethrone the Warriors. I I, I still believe that. Either that or free agency. Um, but um, quick aside, because we were talking about this earlier in the season, we said Ben Simmons didn't get better. I'm finally at the point now where I'm noticing that he has actually gotten you, better. He just, he just he had he to just, catch a rhythm. He's just not shooting, which is fine. We don't need him to be 6'10". I was looking at that. Some of his advanced numbers are a little bit concerning, like they were better with him off the, on the, off the court mm-hmm. than on. And I know that those numbers are a little skewing the net ratings, mm-hmm. but like if you're an all-star... You sh- the team should be better when you're on the floor. I mean, versus remember when off. Kawhi had like like the, the defensive, defensive stuff, stuff yeah, and with... Gobert too. So yeah. they're right, and defensive stats really are problematic, like in that context. But again, uh, so it, 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 there's some, but something about it, like kind of like we're talking about AD. Sometimes something about Simmons too. I mean, obviously we know it's the, it's yeah. the shooting, and they can really yeah. collapse off him, and it's going to be a problem. He's got to prove it for me in the playoffs. I, I listen regular season for sure. No matter where he plays and what the conference doesn't matter, mm-hmm. he's great. I got he's got to prove it. He's got a huge chip on his shoulder to prove yeah. it. This All right, I'm not upset at that. All right, cool. Get into the last three games of the week. We gonna slide. Yeah, we gonna chill. She said she loves me. I'm a-